Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Andre Battles with I Battle Daily Ministries. I want to talk to you for just a split second about the righteousness of Christ. Now, many of us are confused. We don't understand how this takes place. Is it something that we earn? Is it a gift? You know, we look at the law, the Ten Commandments that God has placed in His Word, and we realize that there's an issue. We realize that there's something wrong with us. In comparison to God's law, we realize that we are liars, we are thieves, that we are adulterers, fornicators. We come to realize that we are even murderers, as we can murder people with our thoughts and with our words. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that when we get angry with someone, we can even murder them in our mind. We look at God's law and we realize that we don't keep the correct day holy that He has asked us to keep. And we come away from looking at that law and we're sad, okay? We feel as if there's an issue now because we can see in correct comparison our character versus the character of God because the commandments are nothing more than the character of our Savior. So what's the issue or what's the next step there? Brothers and sisters, I want to share with you an encouraging piece of news this morning. And that encouraging news is this. The righteousness that you receive cannot be given to you by just merely reflecting God's law. Let me repeat that again. The law is like a mirror. You look into the mirror and it tells you what defects are there in front of you. And so therefore, does the mirror fix the defects or do you have to uh, go and, and, and do something different to have the defects uh, taken care of? Yes, the mirror only reflects you what you see. It only reflects you what the issues are, but yet and still there's other work to be done. Now remember Christ came to this earth. He lived he died, he was resurrected, and he is now in the most holy place in the heavenly sanctuary atoning for our sins. Amen? Now, what does that mean? How do we make that practical? First of all, when Christ came to this earth and lived for us, he did not sin. Now, was it because he had power available to him that you and I don't have? No. Christ did not sin because he was connected to the Father he had the gift of the Holy Spirit, which we also have access to, and he read his word, he found time for devotion, and he heard the voice of God speaking into him as a reflection of the words that he read in God's word. Now, even those things for a Christian person does not present to you righteousness. Now, what do I mean? It does not give you righteousness just by reading, studying, and praying. How do you receive the righteousness of Christ is the question for, that we're asking. The righteousness that we need, the righteousness that Christ gives us, is received by an F word. Faith. F-A-I-T-H. Faith. We receive the righteousness of Christ through faith. We come to the commandments. We realize that there's a problem. We realize that there's an issue. We realize that there's a depravity of soul and that we cannot clean ourselves. And now let me pause here and say, many of us, including myself, have tried for years to cleanse the, the soul or to clean ourselves, and we find ourselves even more miserable than when we began this process. And for some of us, even myself, we've ran away from the gospel, we've ran away from Christianity, because we realize it's too difficult. And may I add, you in your own strength cannot clean yourself. You come to Jesus realizing that as you've reflected his word and his commandments that you are filthy, Admitting that, then you come and you look at his character, the way that he lived, the way that he talked, the way that he walked, the way that he carried himself. And you come away from that saying, well, Christ, I want to be like you. So how can I be like you? Christ says you must come and ask for his righteousness. He says he will give it to you if we ask for it. Now, the problem that we face, many of us, is that we think there is something that we have to do to earn his righteousness. You cannot earn his righteousness as almost as if your child or our children can somehow earn our love. We love them anyhow. Christ loves you anyhow. He came because you were a sinner. So if anyone is teaching you and preaching to you and telling you that you have to clean yourself up and that you have to take care of yourself before you come to Christ to receive his righteousness, they are lying to you. The righteousness that you need and the righteousness that I need does not come as a result of our works. It comes as a result of our faith in Christ and his works. Now, is there work for us to do? That's the next question. 
Someone is saying, well, okay, what about the scripture that says that we must work out our salvation and with fear and trembling? I'm glad you asked. That scripture is basically telling us that we have a job to do in the area of creating the correct atmosphere within the mind. We have to get rid of certain things. We have to disconnect certain things. We have to get rid of friends. We have to get rid of uh, acquaintances. We have to turn certain things off. We have to turn certain things on. But still, you are not giving yourself righteousness. You are not giving yourself salvation. You are cooperating with Christ who has already given it to you. And how did he give it to you? He died. He was resurrected. He is now in heaven. And what you are having to do, what I am having to do, is believe on that righteousness and faith. That when we come to Christ, we lack something something that we don't have, then we go away from that experience realizing that because we've come in faith receiving his righteousness, we go forward doing works of love and not drudgery. Brothers and sisters, God is good. And it took me a long time to understand that. It's taking some of us years to understand that we come to Christ as we are. We don't clean up ourselves. When the child comes out of the womb, bloody and dirty, does that child clean himself? He doesn't even know that he's, he's sick, that there's an issue, that he's dirty. We don't know that we're sick until we go to the law and see that we're sick. Now, does the law cleanse us once again? It's like the mirror. Does the mirror cleanse you? No. What cleanses us is coming to the realization that Christ righteousness is now available to me and when you come to that realization when I come to the realization that his righteousness is mine then I will go forward from that point after having received his righteousness looking to please him in every area of my life that's when the lifestyle changes not before the lifestyle changes after you become acquainted with Christ after you fall in love with him, after you realize that he's done a great and mighty work for you. That is when it happens. If anyone is telling you different, they've lied to you. Brothers and sisters, remember that the righteousness that we need, that we are so desperately in need of, comes from a result of receiving it in faith. This is Andre Battles with I Battle Daily Ministries. Be blessed.